When you add a stock adjustment for a batch or serial tracked product, the system will prompt you to indicate which batch and serial numbers those products belong to. So, for example, if I adjust my lemonade, which is a batch tracked item, it will highlight those numbers in red in the batch column. You would then need to click on that number and enter the batch number, expiry date and quantity, then click add batch for the two units that I am increasing my stock by. The red number should turn green and you can then proceed with the adjustment. Similarly, if I were to make an adjustment on my watches, which are serial tracked, the system will prompt me to indicate what those serial numbers are. Now, as I'm adjusting my stock down, I need to select which serial numbers those three units had. Once done, the numbers will highlight in green and I can then go ahead and complete the stock adjustment. When completing a stock count and you enter the count quantities for a batch or serial tracked item, the batch and serial columns will highlight in red. When you click on these, the system will display existing batch numbers and ask you to indicate which batch all those units belong to. Similarly, with the serial numbers, the system will prompt you to select or enter serial numbers related to these products. Once you have entered the batch and serial numbers correctly, the numbers will turn green and you will be able to proceed with the count. Please note that even if you are uploading the count quantities by import for your stock count, you will still have to enter the batch and serial numbers directly on the screen as these cannot be uploaded. 